Hello everyone, welcome back to our English grammar series. Today we are going to learn about the past simple tense. This is a very important tense in English as it helps us talk about actions and events that happened in the past. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to form and use the past simple tense correctly. Let's get started. The past simple tense is used to describe actions that were completed in the past. These actions can be single events or actions that happened repeatedly in the past. The structure of the past simple tense is quite straightforward. For regular verbs, we simply add ed to the base form of the verb. For example, walk, walked, talk, talked, play, played, watch, watched. However, English also has many irregular verbs which do not follow this pattern. Instead, they have unique past forms that you need to memorize. Here are a few examples. Go, went, eat, ate, see, saw, take, took. Don't worry, with practice, you'll get the hang of these irregular verbs. Let's start with affirmative sentences. The structure is subject plus past simple verb plus object complement. For example, I walked to the park. She watched a movie last night. They visited the museum. Notice how the verb changes to the past form. Next, let's look at negative sentences. To make a negative sentence in the past simple, we use the auxiliary verb did not, didn't, followed by the base form of the main verb. The structure is subject plus didn't plus base form of verb plus object complement. For example, I didn't walk to the park. She didn't watch a movie last night. They didn't visit the museum. Notice that the main verb stays in its base form after did not or didn't. Now let's talk about forming questions in the past simple tense. We use the auxiliary verb did at the beginning of the sentence, followed by the subject and the base form of the main verb. The structure is did plus subject plus base form of verb plus object complement. For example, did you walk to the park? Did she watch a movie last night? Did they visit the museum? Notice that the main verb stays in its base form after did. It's also important to learn some common time expressions that are often used with the past simple tense. These help indicate when an action took place. Here are some examples. Yesterday, last night, last week, month, year, a few days ago, in 1990. Let's use these in sentences. 1. I visited my grandmother yesterday, a few days ago. 2. They went to the beach a few days ago. Perfect. These time expressions give more context to your sentences. Now, let's do a few exercises to reinforce what we've learned. I'll give you some present tense sentences and I want you to convert them into the past simple tense. Great job. Now, let's try some sentences with irregular verbs. Excellent. You're doing very well with both regular and irregular verbs. Let's put everything together with a short story. I'll tell you a story in the present tense and you will convert it to the past simple tense. Every morning Jane wakes up early. She makes a cup of coffee and sits by the window. She watches the sunrise and listens to the birds. Then she takes a shower and gets ready for work. She drives to the office and starts her day. Fantastic. Now, you try converting the story yourself. Every morning Jane woke up early. She made a cup of coffee and sat by the window. She watched the sunrise and listened to the birds. Then she took a shower and got ready for work. She drove to the office and started her day. For homework, I want you to write a short paragraph about what you did last weekend. Use both regular and irregular verbs. We'll review your paragraphs in our next class. That's all for today's lesson on the past simple tense. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to review your notes. The more you practice, the more natural it will become. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next class. Have a great day.